Hello everybody, it is Pokemon Master back for part 71 of my Pokemon White Walkthrough. And right now we are going to finish exploring Route 15. Um, I have taught my Sock Strength, being that Sock is done learning moves, I got rid of Bulk Up. Uh, this is kind of hard to figure out how to push in. Oh, wait, no, I think I know how, but I'm going to get off my bike so I do not mess it up. Down one, over one, down one, over there, up and over, down one, down, over, right there. Okay, good. Now let me focus my camera so you can see what I can. And there is an upgrade there. So you, if you have a uh, Porygon somehow, if you've got one, uh... You can use that on it to evolve it, and... Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Another hard one, day. Oh, okay, I think I see how to get it through. But right now, I am going to switch something around. Now, off screen, I did do some training. Oh, okay. Uh... At the big and small stadiums, now they have really strong Pokemon around level 65. And I will tell you something, my Embor has proved to become really strong because, uh... He basically, I guess you could say, is like, uh... I don't know what you would call him, like, he's the Pokemon that always saves me, so I guess you could call him, like, a savior or something. Kanga scan! No way! <laughs> so yeah, my Embor is like level 57. Still knows the same moves. This Kanga scan is going for the reversal. I'm just gonna show you how powerful he is by using Brick Break. Now this Pokemon is level 59, it is two levels higher than me, and we did quite a large amount of damage to it, but now we are going to run if we could, but we can't. Now we can. Okay, so, uh, Repel is useless here. That is TM09 Venoshock. Let's see, is there any hidden, hidden items over here? No, there are not. Over here there are, though. Oh, great, over by the Karate Girl. Oh, up there. Or down here. Let's just walk behind her. Okay, so right here is an Ultra Ball. That was not quite worth it, but every item, I guess, is worth it. Now, do remember, um, when I caught Zekrom, if you watched that episode, uh, I caught him in an Ultra Ball, so I still do have my Master Ball. That was just to let you know. Um... Firo, now this bird is very defensive. I mean, it's got almost as much defense as it does HP if they have not changed it around since uh, Heart Cold Soul Silver. Because uh, I have played Heart Gold before, and, um, before I started doing my walkthrough, and Hero is very defensive, and this Pokemon does not want to let me run. Finally, okay. Uh, it's got a lot of defense, and that's saying a lot for being a flying type. And there is a Max Revive hidden in that wall. Okay, so now we're just gonna run back here, and I think this brings us back to where we were. But here is a, a trainer that we're gonna battle. And my Embor is just gonna show off, okay? Because he's... I don't know how to describe him other than Embor, I mean... He still has one more move to learn. And that's at level 65, I think it is. And that will replace Flare Blitz. Or, it will replace Heat Crash. The move is Flare Blitz. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Heat Crash. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Potion, oh my gosh. 
like one of the only trainers that is not a doctor and is not a gym leader or elite four member or anything like that. Any tough trainers in that that uses that. Drifting ghost flying type. This thing is just quite the bother. Heat crash would have done quite a bit, but I forgot to use it. Oh well, because if it would have taken it out, it would have activated aftermath. But explosion probably will do more. Uh, it kills Drifting, but will my Embor survive? Oh my gosh, she does. Okay, another uh, Swab Blue. Isn't that a flying type? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for Head Smash. This might be like self destruct basically, but it takes out the Swab Blue. But the recoil will be fatal most likely. Yes. The recoil is fatal, and during my off-screen training, my Tranquil evolved. I did not mean to uh, evolve it, I was just, like, playing, I was just about to lose to this one person, and then it evolved when I sent it out, because I had to uh, use it, because it was my last Pokemon that I had with me. Steel, oh my gosh. Ah, it's a good thing I did not send out Haxorus. I'm gonna go for the Brick Break. This thing is a water ice type, so it is weak up against fighting. And we take out Steel. Yeah, I know I'm kind of going backwards on these routes. Uh, now that I've started, uh, I'm not sure if I should uh, switch it around. Let's, uh, let's continue. Now, as you know, this is the White Forest. We entered it in the last part. And, uh, we did a little bit of exploring, but I'm gonna get on my bike and just, well, what's this house? There's a house here. Okay, I'm not sure if you can find Bellsprout in this. Ooh, this guy will... They have a triple battle with you, and I still have a fainted M4. Ooh. That is not good. I think I have on Pheasant coming out. Uh. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. Uh. You know what? Uh. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt on the Cofagrigus. Surf. Oh yeah, my Seismitoad learned, uh, Hydro Pump, so I got rid of Scald, and I'm gonna go for the Detect with my Unpheasant. Whoa, Scrafty goes for Head Smash, that's gonna hurt. Oof, that's quite a lot, and that will take out my E-Electric, oh my gosh, no killed my own Pokemon. I don't think I'm gonna kill anyone else. No, I don't. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on switching out my, uh, seismic to And now I cannot heal. Okay, uh... Not a good position, but I do know a Pokemon that can turn this around. And it is my sock. Wait, let me get my DS back in center. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Brick Break on the Scrafty. Hydro Pump on Papa Grigis. And on Pheasant, I'm gonna go for Fly on Rinna Cruise. Ooh, Focus Punch. Fortunately, Brick Break hits and it takes out that Scrafty. And Sock goes to level 58? Yeah, 58. And my own Pheasant goes... Um, I did not plan on using it, I just happened to have it in my party right now. And oh my gosh, my own Pheasant is faster than Papa Grigus and Renacluse. 